an institution that is dedicated to asking and answering the big questions. And frankly, there's no bigger question than how did life start on Earth and how did we get to be here? This is what we're trying to answer in this gallery. And it took a long time to get there, you know, four billion years from this very tiny little cell to us. Where else in the world can you see so many examples of where our planet has been? I think it is really something exceptional. You know, everybody thinks prehistory equals dinosaurs. There's so much more. It's the time for reflection. And what could be more important in our lives today than looking back over evolutionary history? Who are we? How did we get here? Why are we here? Those are the questions that humans, since the beginning of, of our species, have sat around fires trying to figure out. The whole story of the evolution of life starts almost four billion years ago, and I say that with a B. And what with this gallery and the opening of this gallery that we get to do that nobody else does is create that continuous narrative, formation of the Earth, evolution of life on Earth, and bring it all the way to today. You get a glimpse from the first multicellular organisms all the way to the first dinosaurs, and that's such a gigantic swath of time. There's this fossil record of the earliest life that people can touch and be connected to, no matter where we are on the planet, where we're from, who we are, that connects us, and that's an incredible moment. Fossils are a remarkable gift from the past. These fossils have been locked in stones for so long, and it's about time for them to tell their stories. The fact that they have enabled us to use them to develop an origin story is a tribute to science. That work is an immense amount of effort from multiple parts of the museum. It's not just an interesting gallery from a natural history perspective, but it's a very important story about Canada that the ROM can tell. Here in Canada, we're so lucky to have those steps of evolution. Seeing these slices of the earth before you in the same room is just absolutely absurd. And I hope people enjoy that a lot. We have the oldest exposed rock on the planet. There's four spots in particular that are UNESCO World Heritage Sites here. We have fossils that you can't find anywhere else on Earth. The great fossils that we have in this country really tell amazing chapters that are really key to the understanding of life on Earth. There's no other galleries in the world which showcase so many fossils from UNESCO World Heritage Sites. So this is a gallery that on the one hand has thousands of authentic specimens. This gallery is going to be a feast for the eyes. It's amazing, the shape, the forms, the colors. They will be surprised that creatures that live hundreds of millions of years ago are so beautifully preserved. We also have an immersive digital theater that will put you into feeling like you were around. We have interactives that have you engage with the material. And that emotional connection will be also emphasized by the artwork. That is Hallucigenia sparsa. When it was first discovered, it was missing a lot of parts. Uh, nobody knew what was up, what was down, what was front or back until about 2016, I was working with Jean-Bernard Caron, and he had finally discovered the key pieces that were missing. It was such a joy and honor to be able to, you know, represent that and put that into people's minds that this existed. This is designed through all these different methods to have people have that sense of awe and wonder and say that was an exceptional, fun experience. Visitors will learn about what happened and may reflect on what's happening today. We want to be mindful of the climate change conditions and associate them and give people a background in what happens 
and the consequences and what our abilities are to make a difference based on what we learned from the past. I think an exhibit like this will inform us. We're just a recent blip. An extinction is natural. We're the first extinction that is not natural. And we're smart enough to know that we're causing it. It's a story of escaping almost certain extinction time and time again. So if we don't know our history, then we don't know our future. I want people walking out of here feeling blown away. I want them to feel like this is a place that makes me feel differently, think differently, and understand my place in the world in a new way. I see generations of people talking together, debating, learning together, and constructing their own understandings of bigger world for themselves. Museums are the holders of the spark of imagination. And so philanthropy has the opportunity to bring together people that make their mark on the world in a positive way. The timing of the opening of this gallery coincide with this post-pandemic world where we re-establish connections with nature. And I think it's an opportunity also for people when they visit this gallery to realize how precious life is today. I hope an exhibition like this will give people a sense of time and humility.